joys like today more intense because you share them love makes you stronger so that you can become involved with life in ways that you dare not risk alone true love says the two of you are just better together than when you are apart now you are facing each other holding hands I'll ask you to look into each other's eyes and now I'll ask you to say these words after me I Nam take you Lisa I am take you, Lisa. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I promise to walk by your side forever. I promise to walk by your side forever. And to love, help, and encourage you. To love, help, and encourage you. In all that you do. In all that you do. I will take time to talk with you. I will take time to talk with you. To listen to you. To listen to you. And to care for you. And to care for you. I will share your laughter and your tears. I will share your laughter and your tears. As your partner and best friend. As your partner and best friend. Everything I am and everything I have is yours. Everything I am and everything I have is yours. Now and forevermore. Now and forevermore. And Nam, you said everything. Does that include letting her have the last bite? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. If your guests don't understand that, they can ask you later you know, what that meant. Now, Lisa, as you look back into his eyes, I'll ask you to repeat these words. I, Lisa, give myself to you, Anne. I, Lisa, give myself to you, Anne. On this, our wedding day. On this, our wedding day. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever comes our way, I will be there always. Whatever comes our way, I will be there always. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. Em, if you will take this symbol of your love for Lisa, and as you slip it on her finger, I will ask you to repeat these words after me. Lisa, I give you this ring. Lisa, I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. <coughs> Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. Parker, thank you. Now, if you will take this symbol of your love for Nam, and if you slip it on his finger, I'll ask you to repeat these words. Nam, this ring I give you. Nam, this ring I give you. In token of my love and devotion. In token of my love and devotion. And with my heart. And with my heart, I pledge to you all that I am. I pledge to you all that I am. <laughs> with this ring, I marry you. That's okay. With this <laughs> ring, I marry you. Join my life to yours. Join my life to yours. Good. Lisa and Nam, now you will feel no rain, for each will be shelter to the other. And now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but ahead of you there is only one life. Go now to your dwelling place to enter the days of your togetherness. May beauty surround you both.
throughout your journey and through all of your years together. And may happiness be your companion and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Nam and Lisa, because you have committed yourselves to each other, you have done this in marriage, you've demonstrated this by the exchanging of vows and the, by giving and receiving of these rings, it is now my great joy to be able to pronounce you husband and wife. Nam, these people have waited for this moment. You may kiss your bride. Why don't you turn and face your family and friends? We'll get your uh, flowers back. Okay, Nam, you're a husband. I'm a husband, been a husband a long time. I want to give you some advice, a reminder, just one husband to another. Today is March 28. Okay. <laughs> See, they, all the husbands get it. They know. But... Ladies and gentlemen, it's my joy to be able to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nam Fan. right now and there's 
There's no stopping us right now. I feel so close to you right now. Hi, my name is Ara, and I am Lisa's maid of honor and best friend. Lisa and I were not always best friends. I never would have thought that we'd end up being lifelong friends when I first met her in Mr. Greeny's ninth grade biology class. In fact, she seemed a little strange to me. I had never met an Asian chola before. <laughs> But I'm so glad I didn't let first impressions stay because underneath that chola is a funny, smart, and most loyal friend that a person could ask for. Throughout all these years, all the growth we've experienced, all the people who have come and gone in our lives, Lisa has remained the same. Better dressed and more elegant, but still the same girl underneath with such a good heart and so caring towards those around her. When we met back in 1999, Lisa was straight out of Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff, okay. <laughs> So needless to say, she was a little rough around the edges. But she stands here today before us, transformed into a shining bright diamond. Nam, take care of our girl Lisa. She's in your hands now. Both of you love each other, nurture each other, and cultivate your marriage so that it continues to bloom and grow stronger with time. So ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses and toast the new couple. May you be blessed, <laughs> may you be blessed with happiness and many children. Shine bright, Lisa and Nam. Thank you. Well, the first time I met Lisa was probably about five years ago. Uh, we were over at Nam's apartment. Uh, I came over there to give me some fantasy football tips. Um, and she was sitting there. And we, we basically got introduced at that time. Um, now, we haven't had a lot of time together since she lives in Dallas and I live in Oklahoma City. Uh, but. From what I've seen and observed, she's been a, she's a real selfless person, very caring, uh, family-oriented person. Uh, an example of that is that uh, we went to the U.S. Open probably about a couple years ago. Uh, it was pretty hot out there, and she didn't complain one bit to go home. And uh, I, that that showed me that you know she was she was a real trooper. She's a ride or die. She's a, a ride or die chick. Ride or die. Now, Nam, I've known for all my life. Uh, he's, he's been pretty trendy, you know. He, he's up with all the uh, current dances and, uh, you know, all the gadgets and stuff like that. You know, back when he was smaller, he, uh, he used to, uh, our uncle used to cut our hair for us. Uh, he used to uh, ask my uncle, uh, can you cut my hair like Kevin Bacon? <laughs> for whatever reason, you know. And in the living room, we, you know, we cleared out the spot, uh, took up the um, the uh, living room table, and he'd do the, the caterpillar. And I remember we had like a, uh, I had like an empty uh, Kodak instant camera. We went in the backyard, and he spun the football, and he did the cabbage patch. So, but the thing is, I've never seen him dance in real life. It's almost like uh, trying to spot Bigfoot. So it, it's kind of hard, but you know, seriously though, um, I'm really proud of you, brother. I, I've never said that before, but um, 
this is almost like the uh, tip of the iceberg. Uh, you married a beautiful woman, a caring woman. Um, I hope you give me like a, another niece or nephew, or maybe one or two. Uh, but like I said, I'm really proud of you, and uh, I've never said this before, but uh, I really love you. Okay? Congra congratulations. Guys.